Welcome to West 10 Media Signing Day coverage. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now check out the next athlete, student athlete, that's going to secure their future. Hey B, look up. <laughs> Don't pop her balloons now. Miss Brand, you'll get every. Hi, it's Thomas Sellers Jr. here with another sign of eight minute. Congratulations, man. Get ready. Head off to Dyersburg State. How does it feel? And how does it sound hearing that you made it to the college level? It's great. All the hard work paid off, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be going somewhere to play at high school. 14 years in the making? Yes, sir. So, talk about when you first got out there on, on the field with, with your dad, and how did you feel about the game? When did you know that, hey, this is something I want to do for a long time? I, I don't know. I just, I've always played ever since I was three. I mean, it, it's just been great. Uh, my dad, he loved playing it, and I just followed what my dad did, and, and this is where I am now. And now you're in a unique position because now you're a role model to your little brother who's watching you. When did you realize, like, hey, I got you know teammates, other people looking up to me. What I do out there on the field, you know, I have to carry myself a certain way. When did you realize that? Yes, sir. Uh, I would say district tournament last year, I realized. Um, that I, I, I kind of was a leader and I needed to lead and step up and be a, a big part of the team. So, and a lot of college coaches saw that, but when did you realize, hey, I can take this to the next level? I could be a college player? Uh, I want to say probably my sophomore year when I started varsity, and I figured I could hang with the older kids and hit. So, that, that's really what made me. Your dad said he knew when you were about 12. 12? Yeah, well, so, so it took you a couple more years. It, it, I guess it took me a couple more years, yeah. But, but he was the one out there, your first coach. Talk about your relationship with your dad and how to help you get here today. Uh, well, of course, just having my dad. He's always been by my side and coaching me. And, and he knows a lot of things. He, he played a long time as well. So it's just, it's, it's good to have. Now, mom, out there she seemed kind of quiet. But how did mom balance things and help you get here today? Well, she, I mean, she always kept my head right and kept me steady. She didn't know much about baseball, but she always <laughs> kept me. She always kept me in the game and kept me a level head. And, and did she keep dad level too? Yeah, she did. Yeah, okay, yeah. I kind of thought she was a little referee. Yeah, 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 for sure. But all the hard work of them has paid off, and now all your hard work has paid off. Talk about the validation that you have here today, securing your college future. Man, it's just, it's just awesome to be here and be recognized and be out here in front of everybody, and just all the hard work of finally being noticed and paying off. Well, it's easy to notice you because you might be in the outfield, you might be a short, you might be a third, you might be pitching, and you can put you anywhere in the top of the line, though. Talk about being a utility player that a coach is going to depend on this year for the Brighton Cardinals. It's, like, it's, just, it's valuable, and I know whatever to help the team win and help us ultimately get to state, and that's, that's the main goal. So whatever I need to do, whatever I can do, I will do it. Take you got a taste of it a couple years ago. You want to go back? Yes, sir. For sure. And win some games. Yes, sir. Well, hey, you took a huge step in relaxing your mind by signing that paper out here today. Congratulations on heading off the dashboard. Thank you.